Number 16. What radius circular path does an electron travel if it moves at the same speed and same magnetic field as a proton in this example number 13? So first check out number 13 as I discussed how to approach it. Now we're just going to take the same formula and basically just change the values. So the radius of an object's curvature uh, when it's charged and moving through a magnetic, magnetic field is equal to the mass of that moving a charge multiplied by its tangential velocity in meters per second divided by then the absolute value technically of its charge multiplied by the magnetic field strength. So in that problem now, we're instead of talking about a proton, we're talking now about an electron. So the mass of an electron is different from that of a proton. So it's 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. The velocity then is the same as they told us. It's just going to be the 7.5 times 10 to the seventh meters per second. The charge now, absolute value, so it hits, here's the, it is an electron, but who cares because it's just going to be the magnitude, right? That's the value of a um, uh, charge uh, of an electron, okay? And then the magnetic field, uh, what do they tell us? So we would, they didn't tell us anything, right? But we have to take the answer from number 13. So that's why you have to look back, which was 0 0.979 Tesla, okay? And now all we have to do is just going to calculate. So 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 multiplied by 7.5 times 10 to the seventh divided then by parenthesis 1.6, just make it positive, times 10 to the minus 19th, multiplied then by 0 0.979. And here we go. The radius of curvature now is about 4.36. 4.36 times 10 to the minus fourth. Okay, and that's now in meters. Right, so if you just notice, look at the, you know, the, the circular path before was about, uh, you know, 8.8, .8, excuse me, meters. And now it's, you know, almost a thousand times less. Okay, and you can figure out the factor if you just did a little division there. But, and why is that the case? Well, that's the case, the case is because the mass of a uh, proton, uh, of an electron, excuse me, is like a thousand times less than the mass of a proton. All right, roughly. So that's it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you in the next problem. You take care.